The leaders of each country are responsible for the protection and well-being of their land's people, and for the most part, they do their best to uphold these values and duties. However, being the leader of a country comes with a lot of risks in itself, from coups to attempts on their lives to possibly unintentional dangers like a car accident. While the security are able to handle the first two issues pretty well, traffic is always unpredictable, and oftentimes it can be a freak occurrence that you can't predict. Therefore, a car unlike any other is needed to keep them safe during their commutes to and from speeches and meetings. Today's video is about the 10 best and most protected cars driven by the presidents and leaders around the world. Number 10. Mercedes-Benz Pullman Guard North Korea Kim Jong-un is the dictator of North Korea, known for making vague threats of the world and generally just becoming a meme for a lot of other things. However, joke or not, he is taken very seriously in his home country of North Korea. So seriously that he rides in the impressive Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard. This is a car that can reportedly take a bomb blast with zero issue. The Mercedes is outfitted with a 5.5-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine, which powers a 5-speed automatic with about a 510-horsepower output. This car actually took a while to build, about a year and a half, actually. This is because North Korea is against global sanctions, making it difficult to have readily available materials. Whether this car was homemade or did have some outside help is unknown and is more than likely going to stay that way. Its price, however, is certainly known. A surprisingly low $1 million. Number 9. BMW 7 Series Australia Australia is a country rich in culture, dangerous and unique wildlife, and also the Prime Minister of Australia. While I'm sure the threat of a wild kangaroo or dingo attacking the president is rather low, it's never unheard of. Therefore, the minister has the usual security of guards and a very good form of transportation in the form of the Prime Ministerial Fleet. The current fleet model is a BMW 7 Series, referred to as a C1. Introduced in 2014, the C1 was manufactured in Germany and has had numerous safety features installed into it, including the standard body armor and bulletproof glass, which can reportedly stop high-caliber handguns and even sustain fire from rifles. On top of that, this monster of a car reportedly has sensors that will detect toxic gas and seal off the cabin of the car, providing two hours worth of oxygen to the occupant. With that sensor, it's also able to douse fires, hide several concealed weapons, and travel at an impressive speed of 80 kilometers an hour. Okay, it's, it's impressive for a car that has this much stuff in it. The engine installed in the C1 is a 6.0 liter twin turbo V12. Number 8. Mercedes-Benz S600 Turkey Similar to Kim Jong-un's official car, the president of Turkey's car choice is a Mercedes-Benz 600. This president's car, however, has more outward details known about it, including the upgraded armored body complete with a titanium alloy frame with 5-inch thick bulletproof doors that can take a beating and then some. The car was built to avoid chemical attacks, and its tires have internal steel cables in case the reinforced tires are compromised. In the case of an attack, the president has a phone that has a direct line to the GoTurk-1 satellite for quick communication. While I couldn't find exact specs on the inner workings, we can assume it has similar parts to our first entry in terms of horsepower and engine parts. All in all, though, the president of Turkey is ready for anything that anyone could throw at him. Number 7. The Bentley State Limousine, England The Queen of England is a beloved figure in her country and around the world, holding a great amount of importance to many, and for such an important woman requires a good and stylish car. Enter the Bentley State Limousine, a car that only has one other copy, with both being stored in the Royal Muse. This fancy-looking car was made for the Queen on her 50th anniversary of ascending to the throne, or the Golden Jubilee if you're curious. Its protection is pretty standard, armored glass as well as being sealed up in the case of a gas attack. It is also blast-resistant as well as having Kevlar tires, and is always followed by a procession of marked and unmarked Royal Protection Squad cars. The inner workings of the car include a 6.75-liter V engine modified to produce over 400 horsepower, with a maximum speed of 130 miles per hour. Number 6. The Beast United States It's always a big deal when a president is elected. The changing of hands of the country, the countless cheers and countless cries, and of course a new president and old president sharing a ride in a very secure car down to the new president's first speech. All of this defines the Cadillac limousine of Donald Trump, otherwise known as the Beast. Love him or hate him, this car is dang impressive and it's used to make sure he or any other president will be safe as of 2018. 
Now, a lot of the details of this car are unknown as the Secret Service want to keep it under wraps, understandably. What is known and can be said without me disappearing in a boating accident is the following. 5-inch thick bulletproof glass, complete seal protection for gas attacks, a hidden tear gas cannon as well as night vision capabilities from the inside. Also, while unconfirmed, it's also said that on the inside are firearms for use in emergencies. Number 5. The Pope Mobile. Okay, so yeah, this one isn't near as impressive as the Beast or some Bond supercar, but we had to put it on the list. Just look at it. It's the Pope Mobile. And despite its silly looking appearance, it actually does have a decent amount of safety features. Throughout Pope history, there has been a Pope Mobile. The latest one is a Dacia Duster 4x4 that he received in a visit to Romania. But the one I'm talking about is the 2002 edition Pope Mobile, a Mercedes Benz M Class. This was a special little car, outfitted with a little standing container allowing the Pope to wave to everyone as they drive on. The vehicle's safety features include the basics bulletproof glass that's so durable they can withstand explosives, and armored side panels with a custom undercarriage designed to survive landmines. The real security, though, is the entire Catholic religion. And God himself. Number 4. The Pugot 5008 France. The French president strode into his local car dealership with certainty in his mind. He knew exactly what kind of car he wanted to entrust his life to, and that car is a special Pugot 5008, which I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing. But either way, it's a cool car. Having it worked on with the Centagon Security Group, this practical looking car is fitted with bullet and blast proof plating, a custom backseat that allows a blast proof safe to be installed so if he's attacked with any sensitive documents he has a place to store them. While I couldn't find much on the president's engine, it can be assumed that this Pigot is fitted with a 5 speed manual drive and a 1.6 liter EP6 FTT engine. I'm not a car guy, so I didn't understand a word I just said there. Number 3. Honky L5 China Xi Jinping is the current leader of China, and boy howdy is he a pretty controversial figure. As such, he receives a ton of protection, from general security around his office, his home, and his motor vehicle as well. Enter the Honky L5, a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine capable of producing 381 horsepower on an 8-speed automatic. One of the car's biggest claims to fame, aside from being the car of both Jinping and Mao Zedong, is that at the time it was the most expensive Chinese-made car ever, costing a whopping 5 million renminbi, or about 800,000 US dollars. And as for the safety features... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna come clean here. I couldn't find much for the security on this car. And honestly, that's more than likely intentional. What can be assumed is the car has bulletproof glass, armored sides, and a few other safety features. At the same time, like the Pope, Winnie the Pooh here is the Chinese military on speed dial. The guy doesn't need his car to be a fortress when his country is right there. Still mad at him for banning Winnie the Pooh around there. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is the car of Russian leader Vladimir Putin, and what a car it is. This car actually had a pretty big name working on it as well, and I'm sure someone as cautious as Vlad approves of it. With that said, number two, Oris Anat Limousine Russia. At the number two spot, we're heading to Russia to check up on the car of Vladimir Putin. Putin's armored car is an Oris Anat, a snazzy looking limousine that's powered by a 6.6 liter V12 engine that was custom made as a partnership project by Porsche and Bosch Engineering. The car itself was actually produced with the help by Nami, a Russian native company who are pretty big. How big though? Well, they're only just the company leading the field of the Russian automotive industry with its projects and ideas. This car obviously has a lot of prestige behind it. Some of its safety features include 6cm reinforced bulletproof windows, a standard air compression system for gas attacks, armor able to resist blasts and sniper fire, flat proof tires, and my personal favorite feature is an extra large door. Why is that though? Well, its design is obvious because it stops your pants from getting dirty when you exit the vehicle. Yes, I'm being serious, that was its intended purpose. God, I love this car in Russia. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. 1987 VW Beetle Uruguay. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. This isn't some supercar, this is a Beetle. It's a uh, compact, I'll say that much. I mean, does it have armor, lasers? Can it transform into a battle bot? Well, no, what you see is what you get. A pale blue and heavily used Beetle car used by Jose Mujica, the former president of Uruguay. So why would I put this here, you ask? Well, listen, I, I can explain. I can actually really explain this one. Okay, to start with, this is just a standard car with no safety features. Its worth is only about $1,800, and the simplicity in the person is why I chose it. Jose has been described as the world's humblest head of state. He had a good relationship with his people, making moves for his country that benefited them greatly to the point where it was reported that the social stability in his country and economy was healthier than a lot of its bigger neighbors. His car's armor was the goodwill and approval of the people. Armor can do you good, yeah, but not having anyone wanting to shoot you is the best protection you could possibly have. And that's our video. Tell me, do you disagree with my number one spot? Well, which one was your favorite car either way? Did you have any features you liked? If yes, please let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.